Nearly 200 scientists have submitted an appeal to the United Nations, requesting it to adopt guidelines to protect against electromagnetic radiation that admits from cell phones, laptops, tablets and other wireless devices. And the constant electromagnetic radiation from communication towers could lead to cancer and also cause neurological, cardiac and respiratory disorders. I'm here with disturbing news about our favorite gadgets, cell phones, tablets, Wi-Fi, etc. Putting it bluntly, they are damaging the living cells in our bodies and killing many of us prematurely. Before Edison's light bulb, there was very little electromagnetic radiation in our environment. The levels today are very many times higher than natural background levels and are growing rapidly because of all the new devices that emit this radiation. An example that a lot of us have in our pockets right now is the cell phone. One study shows that as cell phone usage has spread widely, the incidence of fatal brain cancer in younger people has more than tripled. We are putting cellular antennas on residential buildings and on top of hospitals where people are trying to get well. Wireless utility meters and cell towers are blanketing our neighborhoods with radiation. It's particularly frightening that radiation from our telecommunication and power line technology is damaging the DNA in our cells. It is clear to many biologists that this can account for the rising cancer rates. And so today, scientists from around the world are submitting an appeal to the United Nations, its member states, and the World Health Organization to provide leadership in dealing with this emerging public health crisis. They say it can cause serious health problems. Blank said that even the increase in obesity, autism and stillbirths may be associated with electromagnetic radiation in the environment. His suggestion for curbing wireless usage was to turn off cell phones and wireless devices when not in use. The International EMF Scientist Appeal have asked the UN, its member states and the World Health Organization to provide leadership in limiting electromagnetic radiation exposure and to educate the public about its health risks.